Hi everyone, my name is Rahul and in this video we are going to learn about the stacked bar plot where the bars are stacked one, one above another and we'll be using the uh, matplotlib library and also the pandas inbuilt plot method. To start with, uh, you need to install the numpy, pandas and matplotlib libraries and I have already installed that so I'll be importing the numpy as np and pandas as pd then matplotlib.pyplot module as plt and if i run this it will activate the environment and run the and import these libraries i'm using vs code you can use the jupyter notebook also vs code or pycharm whatever you are comfortable with so in earlier videos we have used this tips data set here i am also using this tips data set so i am importing the data set from my data sets directory tips.csv using the pd.read underscore csv method and saving in tips math, uh, tips uh, object so tips.head if we print the first four observations it contains such these observations like it is a uh, restaurant visit data so it contains a total bill column what is the total bill paid by the group then what is the tip amount what is the sex like female or male, then smoker status, whether any smoker present, no or, no or yes, day, on what day they have visited the restaurant, uh, what is the time, whether it is a uh, dinner time or lunch time, then what is the size of the group. So for uh, for the first time go, going for the matplotlib style, so for matplotlib you can't directly fit the pandas data frame, so you have to uh, pre-process it and uh, make it a particular format that uh, that accepted by this such matplot here we will be uh, generating a plot where we will try to stack the uh, smoker status yes or no and the uh, group will be the two bars will be for sex one for female one for male and for each sex category we will uh, try to stack the number of smokers uh, and number of non-smokers okay that would be the stack and that should this stack will be in 100 percent so for each sex category if we have to estimate the smoker status in uh, say proportions and convert it to 100 percent proportions then uh, we have to pre-process the data so for to do that first you have to uh, use this as a tips data set then first we need to group by the data based on sex so it will divide the data into particular uh, separate data sets you can imagine one for male one for female and from each data set it will, it will take the smoker column okay and then we will apply a method called value count because it is the smoker status you can, you can see that it is a no or yes it is a uh, string or you can say it is a uh, categorical data binary category here yes and no. so yeah, we need to count number of observations or number of this yes or number of no in the smoker uh, column so value count does this and inside value count you can also supply this normalized true so it will uh, change it to the uh, proportion and then we are multiplying it to 100 to convert it to 100% uh, so that it will show as a 100% because we want the stack bar plot to be 100% and then round to 2 and we are unstacking if you don't unstack it will give you uh, initially it will give you a multi uh, index type of uh, framework uh, or display so you need to convert it to a data frame so that we can take out the yes and no columns okay so that's why i'm applying this unstack method and if you now run this you can say that uh, you can see this this sex based on which we have grouped it is in, in this row index female and male and the smoker status the columns uh, the counts for no and s are the smoker status in column actually no and s and the proportions are in the cell okay like for female and those are non-smoker 62.07 like male those are smoker is around 38.22 now we will be using this data to fit inside the plotting method and the matplotlib will recognize that and generate the plot so to do that we will be using first start we'll start with this matplotlib style and first in uh, if you uh, have seen my the my first video where i have already discussed the how this subplots method work and what is this subplot ma method actually does so here we will use this we will call this subplot method from the plt that plt is our uh, this pyplot module from the matplotlib we have imported as a uh, it is it is as a plt or uh, it is just alias name rather than writing every time this long uh, string we can directly call it plt okay 
So now we are calling the from PLT, we are calling this as a subplots method. And inside that, we are giving a figure size 12 inches width and 6 inches height. And saving the returned object in figure and axis. It returns two objects. One is figure and another is axis. Next, the part is bar, uh, generating this as a stack bar plot. So to do that, let me comment this first. Okay. So do that, we can directly call the bar method from axis. So this axis object has bar method dot bar. And inside that first we uh, use this our data frame df and first in x axis we will give the df dot index. So index values female and male. Next what would be the bar height. So first we are plotting the bar height from the no column. Okay. okay. No column. So df no. And label will be no width will be 0 0.3. And if we enter it will generate just this no columns for female and male in the uh, x-axis and the heights are uh, this for no column uh, in the y-axis direction. Okay. But next what we want to do, we want to impose the uh, yes proportion over this because it is up to say 61 something something percent based on our data uh, that we have generated uh, and kept inside the DF. Now we would like to stack the yes cases over that to make it 100%. Okay, so how will we do that? So again, we will call, let's remove this comment, uh, axis.bar, again df.index. Now we will be plotting uh, over that the yes column. Okay, so this yes column over that. And so where this yes column will start? Should I start, uh, should it start the yes column from here? No, we want to stack it. We want to start it from here where the no column end, ended actually. So no column for female and male both cases, uh, the values are ended around 61 or some 61. You, you, can, you can see 62.07 and 61.78. So above that or from this height, we would like to start our yes, yes bars. Okay. So we have to define what would be the bottom where the yes bar will start. So here the bottom is df dot no wherever the df dot no column values in ending from that we would we would like to start the yes column okay so here that's why i'm providing this bottom equal to df dot no then level is yes with this 0.3 it is same so now you can see it is stacked where the blue bar ended over that uh, from that it is started the yes column and it goes up to 100 percent for both the cases okay so next thing that uh, to add some identifier or label, May, maybe you want to add label. What is this blue bar indicates? What is this uh, height of this orange bar indicates? Okay. So here the uh, in the customize customization part, we we will be discussing a, uh, a particular approach called a container. So a container is nothing but uh, a particular. You can imagine it's the particular box where the properties values and attributes of those bar are kept so for this blue two blue bars there is a one container for this orange bars there is another container this container approach is used in matplotlib so the axis object contains this container because we have imposed those bars over the axis so we have using the axis we call the bar so this axis object contains all the properties okay and the con the container information so if you call the axis dot containers so it can show that the bar container object have two artists, bar container object has two artists. In list, there are two elements. The first contains two artists. You can guess that this be two blue bars and another container contains the all the properties for this orange bars. Okay. Or for the yes uh, values. So the, what is this two bars? You can also access this using say for uh, uh, you can also instead of direct calling this you can also print the container object 0 and 1 what the, uh, that has a contain actually so axis dot containers 0 and axis dot has a containers 1 so this 0 object and 1 object because python is a 0 index base so we'll start with 0 the first object is 0 the second object is 1 so if you print that it will show it will just take out from the list and here it will print so Again, this contains two art. It is showing that it contains the bar container object of two artists, two artists. This two artists are these bars actually. So, what is this two artists? You can again you know, go inside from the inside the first container and take out the first object and second object. Then again go to the uh, the second container and take out the first object and second object. So we'll be doing this. So axis dot container. First we are going for the zero number container, and inside that we are 
retrieving the zeroth object again the first object and again we are going to the first container and taking out the zeroth object and first object so if you print that it will show that each rectangle values so the first rectangle uh, is 62.07 the second rectangle 61.78 so 62.07 61.78 it's for no cases this container contains the no cases you can see the height and the second container contains such as the orange cases 7, 37 and 38 37.93 and 38.22 okay so now we have the idea that what this container contains and why i am showing this because we need this height values because we like to impose those values uh, to add levels okay so this is i am going for systematically so that uh, everybody understand how it, it works in, in behind the hood so once you know that it is very easy let's say we want to retrieve these values what this value uh, this height values because we need these values okay so first we will go through the each container so i am i am uh, looping through the container using a for loop for c in axis dot containers then again each container contains two objects two bars so again inside each container we are again looping for the bar so v sorry v in c and again printing the v so it will uh, it will print the same these values actually okay so now let's print so same okay now say we printing this rectangle uh, after printing this rectangle we would like to retrieve this values height values so the each each this patch objects or this rectangle object has this height value we can directly use the get height method so again the up to this up to this v it is same now what we are doing that we are directly from each bar after looping through container again looping through each container then whatever the bar we are getting each time over that we are applying this get height method and rounding it to two so it will print the height values so 62.07 61.78 like this it printed the four values but to supply but to generate the uh, adding this uh, labels we need it as a list like this two in a single list this two in a single list and we will supply that and to do that we can use a uh, more convenient approach so again we are looping through each container okay the container object first uh, it will uh, object uh, it will return the first container then it will go to the second uh, container okay so 0 and 1 uh, as it is python is the zero index way so it will first go to the zeroth container then first container okay so again then we are taking is this c and we are using a list comprehension okay so we are again again looping through this container for v in c then whatever the object we are getting from which c container so that means the bar so we are applying another another condition here in this list comprehension if the v dot get height if the height of the bar is greater than zero then return this statement what this statement v dot get height so return the get height if the height of the patch object or if this rectangular object is greater than zero then return the height by converting uh, converting it to a two decimal up to two decimal place rounding here and convert it to a as a string so that i can add a percentage here so once you will run this it will show that two list first list for this our of blue uh, bars and second one for orange bars and we, we have added this percentage symbol also so now we have this thing so we can supply this data in our uh, uh, in our bar in our in our bars so that it will impose those values and it will give a particular add a label to the bar plot it would be much convenient and it would be very informative for the audience if you add these such values inside the bars so adding label it should not be removing spines here removing spines is later so first let's add these levels again up to this point you know what we did and what it returns it returns these values and we are for each loop we are saving this into a labels and this bar axis has a particular method called bar label you earlier in dodge bar plot i have shown a separate method here i am showing this method because it is convenient okay and easy to use actually so axis dot uh, so up to this point i hope you have under understood that how it works it returns this labels with percentage and then 
we, uh, we are saving it to a label into labels this uh, object and we are calling in the axis object the bar labels then we supplying the c that is our container then label type is center so we would like to add to the center this labels then labels equal to label this labels actually and size is 14 and then we are calling figure now you can see that it has added actually 62.07 61.78 then 37.93 38.22 okay in this order actually now you know how this works and how to add a uh, label inside the stacked bar plot next go for a little bit customization how we can make it beautiful uh, because uh, this is okay but when you have large number of bars and uh, you would like to make it a publication ready you need so much customization so first what we'll do uh, we will remove this top line and this right line sometimes we don't need that and to do that we can use the spines method of the axis object so we can loop through the for s in top and right and then in axis we are we call we can call the spines and inside that we provide the s so it will first select top spine then as right spine and we'll set the visibility to false so using set visible method Next is the customization of these labels. We can uh, change or uh, increase the size or rotation. We can rotate this such this tick levels, this tick levels. Okay. So to do that, we can use the axis dot tick params, and inside the label size is fourteen. Level rotation is zero. You can do uh, if you want to rotate it to forty five degree for the x axis. You can also supply the axis uh, argument here that you you would like to do it for x axis, y axis, or both. Okay. Like you, if you hold this, you can, uh, this shows that X, Y, and both three options are there. Okay. So next we will set some uh, uh, axis labels for using the set Y label. We are setting the Y label to be percentage and size is 14 and X label sex. That is our female and male case size 14. Next we will add some legend. So axis dot legend, uh, we, we need to call this legend method over the axis so that it will add the identifier which one is the no case for smoker status and which one the yes, yes case with color actually so uh, axis dot legend labels are small no and yes the list font size 12 title would be smoker title font size 18 and b box to anchor where we would like to add this so by default for uh, subplots the range is considered to be 0 to 1 on the in the x axis and 0 to 1 in the y axis so if you would like to add this center so 0.5.5 0.5x, 0.5y. So at the middle it will work. So here I have adjusted uh, 0.55 and 0 0.07 supplied. Okay. You can also use this axis dot legend underscore dot set v box to anchor and supply the same thing here. It will also work. But in legend method it uh, has that argument where it directly takes that. So if I now run this, it will show that it has removed the spines, then increase the size of the tick levels, also added the x level and y level. Next, we will save this plot. To save this plot, uh, the figure object has a save fig method. And before that, we I always use this try and accept clause because it is handy. So what it does, you have to need you know, need to import this OS library. First try, uh, you uh, use this try clause and supply the os.make directory. So it will create a new directory, images. First, it will try to create a images directory. If this images directory already exists, then it will run the accept clause and print this statement. If this images directory already exists then it will run this next statement if it does not exist then it will create a new folder or directory called images so the statement is here print the directory already exists okay so next we are we can we need to call this sepfig method from the figure object and supply the, uh, the i'm supplying this images folder because i want to add that to add that image to this folder or save this image to this folder or directory and the image name is tag bar plot dot png and dpi is 300 there are other options are there uh, but i'm just showing here the basic option for saving the plot so if i run that the directory already exists and it has such a already saved i think uh, i have that already saved in the directory uh, i had that image but i think it will overwrite that so stacked bar plot png this one. okay with uh, it is in 300 dpi so next next we will proceed with this pandas method uh, the pandas method is little bit uh, easier uh, the steps are few so uh, to generate this 
pandas such as using the stack buffer plot using this pandas plot method the preparation part is same so again uh, this mocker in uh, no yes in the column and sex female and male in the uh, index uh, row index okay and after doing this you need to call this again generate this uh, call this figure dot subplots supply the figure size and the return object save the return object in figure and access and now we directly in this uh, plot, uh, pandas data frames plot method or inbuilt plot method to use that you need to directly call the df data frame this is the df data frame and from the df data frame uh, the pandas data frame contains this plot method so dot plot and kind under this dot plot uh, this plot method you have to supply the kind because by default it plots a line plot so the here we need a bar plot so we need to provide this uh, statement that what bar uh, what type of plot you want to plot so kind is your bar now whether it is a dodge bar plot or stacked if you don't provide this next statement it will create a dodge bar plot by default so here i'm providing the stacked equal to true okay and x is equal to axis this axis x is equal to axis with this 0 0.3 of the bar and h color the the boundary color for the bar should be black and if you enter okay so it will generate the plot same plot just female and male is in 90 degree by default and it also added a smoker label by default uh, this uh, legend okay uh, the mechanism is same but it is simple in one go you can stack you don't need to first call stack uh, first create this bar and over that you have to impose that it automatically does uh, behind the scene actually so next Another approach is that uh, here we have called this uh, df plot. Uh, another way of doing this calling df plot dot bar, and inside this provide stack true axis axis and width equal to zero point three and h color black. Here we called the, from the plot method we directly call this bar, so you don't need to provide you don't need to provide the argument this argument actually that kind is bar. So that way you can also generate the same or achieve the same plot. Here you, you call the bar method directly from plot and inside that you don't have to provide that argument. Okay, so it also works. So if you run this, you can get the same plot. Okay, so both way you can achieve the plot. Now the customization part is same. Uh, the uh, adding this container uh, from the container object, uh, taking out the uh, percentage values and imposing over the plot using this axis dot bar label. This part is same, this uh, 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 leveling uh, leveling part is same. Then removing the spines part is also same, top and right side. Then adding, uh, then customizing the tick parameters, adding X and Y levels is also same like matplotlib. Uh, and legend part is also same like matplotlib. Instead of, uh, in in the in this matplotlib part we have uh, provided this bbox anchor in the legend part inside the legend method here we will be using uh, not using that but use, uh, we will use this axis dot legend underscore dot set bbox to anchor and supply this this part here we will be using this part and just to show you a, a little bit variation so axis the object contains this legend underscore and from that you can call this sec, uh, set B box to anchor method and supply this X and Y position. And if you enter, it will generate the same plot. Okay, same 62.07, 61.78, 37.93, So you can achieve the same plot in multiple ways using matplotlib because it has huge customization ability. You can customize anything if you would like to change the shape of this uh, legend box. If you want to change the colors, you want to code uh, this color. Change, want to change these colors. You want to change the color for this uh, tick labels. Want to change the rotation. Everything is possible with a matplotlib Be uh, because it has huge customization ability. So these are the different ways uh, you can create a stacked bar plot this bar plot actually uh, don't look good because it, it has only two bar when you have lots of data it will looks very beautiful like st stacking multiple bars and different uh, categorical uh, cat categories uh, of a particular categorical variable and it looks pretty good it is just for illustration so i hope you understand how this uh, stacked bar plots are generated you can generate a stacked bar plot uh, using matplotlib and the pandas inbuilt plot method so thanks for watching.